All right. So um, how's everyone doing? I hope you guys are enjoying the word camp so far. This is my first, so I get a chance to show you a little bit of what I've been working on. Uh, so what today's presentation is about is basically being able to share content from your WordPress website directly to your business social media pages. And uh, the whole premise behind this come, came from an idea of cutting down time of sharing content. Um, you know, this world is moving, you know, 200 miles an hour every second. So being able to do things a lot more efficiently is the reason this idea came about and I thought I would share it with the community. So I won't bore you with details, we'll jump right into it. So first, the why into doing this. Um, automating sharing of content. Uh, we write content every day, uh, whether it's for your own uh, blogs or if you're writing content or producing or publishing content for clients, um, you want to automate that process. And it makes it a lot easier when you institute or implement, I should say, uh, Zapier into your website to automate this process. Uh, second is costs. Plainly put, we're all trying to save money. Um, I am a husband and a uh, father of twin daughters, so send help. I'm trying to save every bit of dollars I can. <laughs> and third is flexibility. You want control, you want the flexibility to be able to publish your content when you want to, uh, whatever platforms that you choose to, and however it should be displayed. So next is how. Of course, the reason we're here, WordPress. Second is Zapier. And third is uh, developer's best friend, ACF for Advanced Custom Fields. Uh, it's a, pl a plugin that you can install on your uh, website to be able to create custom fields where you can create and generate custom content. And for the sake of time, I won't go into details about that, but I'll show you a little bit of how to get this started. So first, after you have installed the ACF plugin, um, you create your fields that will be displayed where you would input the content. So in this case, uh, this is an actual screenshot from my own website. These are custom fields that are attached to the post uh, content type, which is normally used for blog posts. So here, the first one you see, it says SM post summary, which is the social media post summary, which is the content or the actual uh, message that will be posted to social media. The second is hashtags. So we know hashtags helps target the audience that you're looking for. For myself, I work with nonprofits and B2B, so that will be my hashtag. And then I'll also throw in one, depending on what type of content that's being posted. And the third is personal page LinkedIn post summary. Um, I have a business page for my agency, and I also have my personal LinkedIn page, and I like to keep the voice separate to make sure, you know, things don't sound too monotonous when you're trying to post. And then down here, if you're not familiar with ACF, you have rules uh, to, to designate the location of those fields. So down here, I don't know if you can quite see that, but it says uh, you want to display these field groups on the post type that is equal to post. And post is the native content type that WordPress has, if you're not aware. And it's usually reserved for people who uh, produce blog posts. So next, these are an actual display of what the fields would look like. This is uh, content that I created for a blog post about Google, um, the ad grant. And side note, if you're not aware, Google provides $10,000 a month for nonprofits to advertise. Um, the second, here's the hashtag one I was referring to, hashtag nonprofit, marketing, and MarTech. And third is the personal LinkedIn post summary, which is going directly to my personal LinkedIn page. And I did duplicate that, so um, it'll kind of keep the message uh, synonymous. Now next is the Zapier, and this is where the work happens. So. Uh, Zapier has two actions, a trigger and an actual action. So in this case, the first thing that happens is the trigger, which is basically whenever something happens, you trigger the automation to start working. So in this case, the app that you want to connect is WordPress. The event is a new post, and this is the actual account that you're connecting it to, and that's my agency site, EMG WP site. You can name that whatever you want. Uh, and the step details or the, uh, the tri uh, another part of the trigger, I should say, is the post status. So you want a published post and then the post type, which in this case is actual post. 
And then next, what happens is the action. So what it should do once the automation is triggered. So uh, the app in this case is LinkedIn. The event is that you want to create uh, the share update, which is you're sharing content to social media or sharing to LinkedIn, I should say. Uh, the next one is the actual account, which this is my personal account. And then the next part is where the magic happens. So here in this step is comment, which is usually just the content that you're, you're actually sharing. And if you notice, um, it's uh, kind of summarized here, but this is the SM post summary. So any content that you put in those previous fields would show up here. And this is also talking about the flexibility. Um, you can add your own uh, hashtags here if you would like, or any other content that would be automatically shared uh, to whatever social media platform you have. Uh, for LinkedIn, you have visibility settings. So this one is set to anyone, so anyone or public. Uh, the next is the content title. So whenever you share a post on LinkedIn, there's a title that is under, and I'll show you in the next screen, there's a screenshot. Uh, so I grabbed the post title to actually be shared here. The next is the content image URL, and this is another point of flexibility. So for me, I choose to share the post thumbnail link, which is a included feature in WordPress. But if you choose to use custom fields, you can actually create an image field. Why would you want to do that? I'm glad you asked. So if you use the post thumbnail for one, then you can create a separate image field where um, you can create an image, maybe one for your blog post and then another for Instagram or another for Twitter, because you know Twitter has character limits, or maybe another for LinkedIn because there may be um, you know, a different type of audience there. Usually it's a lot of professionals, but you know, whatever, you can choose to select what image you want to go there. And the last part down here at the bottom is the content URL, which is basically the actual link. And that's pulled in from WordPress as well. And to show you what that would look like, this is an actual post that I published a few months back. So if you see here, there's that content that I created. And this one I kind of played around with and did some editing. But those are the hashtags that were created right there. And that is the image. And my screenshot got cut off. But you, should, you would see the title down here at the bottom. And uh, this would be a clickable link and take you directly to the blog post on my website. And if you want to, I was able to take a picture before a lot of you guys came in. And if you want, you can jump on my social media pages, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, under L squared, E-L-S-Q-R-D dot com, or I'm sorry, E-L-S-Q-R-D. Or you can search for me on LinkedIn and you would see a live picture that I just taken about 10 minutes ago that will be automatically posted. Any questions? Yes. So I'm glad you said that. So with Zapier, yes, you do have pay, and what he has are their paid levels or paid plans with Zapier. Yes, there is. But they have a free tier that uh, provides you with 100 um, actions or automations a month where you can do that 100 times a month pretty much. But you don't have to the workflow that I use, you don't even have to pay a thing. The ACF plugin is free. Zapier has a free play uh, free plan as well. You hook it all up and it'll allow you to post your content. Yes. Uh, have you experimented with um, feeding video URLs into um, the custom fields and seeing if, like, will that will it support video instead of images? That's a great question. I have not, but I do suggest uh, going to my website and sign up on the newsletter. I know with this lightning talk, there's only so much information I can give. That is something I'm actually actively testing right now, and I'm going to give a more detailed presentation that will actually show how that works. We have a few more minutes, maybe another question or two. Whatever. Have you ever thought about um, actually going, um, not necessarily directly to social media platform, but going to a social media uh, posting application like 
um, you know, there's a whole bunch out there. Yeah, like Buffer, Hootsuite. Yeah, yeah. and then you yeah. have it there, and then you can reschedule it and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, and uh, back to the, the original point of the why, cost was one of them. That was a reason why. Um, I didn't want to sign up for a separate platform like that, uh, primarily from cost, but also that flexibility as well. I wanted more control over my content and how it's posted out and stuff, but I have used those before. They didn't quite work what I needed them for, but they do work well because you can post content, but in some of the platforms, you can actually reply to the content. This one particularly just only posts the content, but those do work pretty well, though. Yeah, because I'm wondering if you could post it as well as then put it also into like buffer so that you have it, then you can repost it later on. Yeah, that's like a a, that's another good thing to do. Like yeah, that. repurpose your content. That's true. Yeah, okay, absolutely true. Um, I believe so. I have a have question reached... from oh. the chat in the back here. Okay. Well, Maestro Steven says, "What do you think about other automation plugins such as Uncanny, Uncanny Automator, or newer app such as Sure Triggers, since Zapier can get pricey as you scale up outside of its free plan?" Awesome question. Um, actually, if you use WP Webhooks. Uh, it's similar to Uncanny Automator, but Uncanny doesn't have all of the social media options, which is hence the reason why I use Zapier. But I'm also, to his point when I was talking about, I'll explain it later, that um, WP Webhooks is another plugin and another automation platform is Pabbly. Um, that will allow you to use webhooks instead of using uh, Zapier to be able to publish content and perform the same exact thing. And I think we have two more minutes left, maybe one more question. Hi, okay. so are you able to do this like pretty far in advance if you know you want to post something? Yes, good question. So what I did was to test uh, when I originally came up with this idea is that I scheduled out two months worth of posts to go out every day during the normal work week, Monday through Friday, and on schedule. It'll post it. I had it set up to where it'll alert me. Uh, I believe it was text message. And it'll send me a text to let me know that the automation went through okay. And you can set up alerts so you know if, no, if something fails or something like that, and they'll automatic, automatically email you. But um, yes, you can do that. You can schedule, how it works is you schedule your content in WordPress, and then when it publishes through a cron, or which is really kind of their automated way of publishing content, it'll do the same exact thing. It'll send it on over to social media and send it over what platforms you want. Cool, thank you. You're welcome. And I think that's it, that's my time. I appreciate you guys.